Magical pond, lion and cow. Beautiful sunny day. All the animals in the forest were so happy with their schedule. Grassy the cow was eating grass in a large meadow. Grassy was so sweet and humble with other animals. Grassy and Crocodile were two good friends. Grassy always used to go to the pond and spend time with Crocodile. One day, Grassy was wandering in the jungle. On the way, she met Deer. Hello! Hi, Grassy. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. What about you? Yeah, me too. How good is the weather today? Yes, you're right. As they were talking, they heard a roar sound. They got scared. It was a greedy lion. Grassy and Deer hide themselves in the bushes. <laughs> The lion pounced on the animals and started killing all the animals. Animals were scared and started running here and there. This became the daily routine of the lion. All the animals got fed up with the lion. One day, they all gathered and started discussing about the lion. This lion was so cruel. You have to think about this. Yes, it was very difficult for us to search food. Even we are getting effort to leave our children alone. I think we have to leave this forest. No, this is not the solution. We all have to think something to get rid of this problem. They all started thinking. Suddenly, Grassy got an idea. Grassy explained her idea to the animals. Wow, it was good, good. But at the same time, it was too risky to do. To get something good, we have to take some risk. Be careful, my dear. As they finished their discussion, Grassy went to the lion. Ho! Oh, wow! What a pleasant surprise! The prey came itself in front of me. Yes, my lord. Before you eat, you should know the reason why myself came here to become your prey. Hmm, it sounds interesting. Tell me fast. Don't waste my time. My lord, I know you're so strong. One day, sure you will hunt me. After dying, I don't want to go hell. So, I directly came to you. I don't understand what you want to say. My lord, in our jungle we have a magical pond. Before you eat me, if I take a bath in the magical pond, directly I will go to heaven. Not only me, before you eat me. If you take bath, you will get magical powers. Lying asked Grassy to take him to the pond. They both went to the pond. First, you go and take a bath. Grassy went into the pond and came back. My lord, I'm ready. Please eat me and send me to the heaven. Lion felt so happy. Even he wants to get the powers, he rushed towards the pond and jumped into the water. As soon as he jumped into the water, crocodile, which was hidden in the pond, attacks the lion. Help me! Anybody is there? Please help me! <laughs> Lion lost its life. All the animals thanks to Grassy and the crocodile. Three cows and tiger. It was a beautiful evening in the jungle. And cows named three. Bella. Daisy and Nelly were grazing on the lush grass. Bella and Daisy were best friends, but Nelly was known for her selfish nature. As the sun began to set, they heard a loud roaring noise. What's that sound? I don't know, but it sounds scary. I think it's a tiger. We need to hide. The cows began to look for a place to hide. And Nelly quickly found a den. She ran inside and shut the door behind her, leaving Bella and Daisy to fend for themselves. Where did Nelly go? I don't know, but we have to find her. As they searched for Nelly, they encountered the tiger, who threatened to eat them. 
I'm going to eat you both for dinner. Please don't. Bill, do anything. Yeah, uh, anything. Yeah, uh, just let us go. The tiger agreed to spare their lives, but Luke then bit him to his den, leaving Nellie behind. You two stay here, and I'll eat you at midnight. Later. Bella came up with a clever idea to fool the tiger. If you eat us, you'll be cursed. You'll die the very next day. Yeah, last time a tiger tried to eat us, a rock fell on him and he died. The tiger agreed to wait until the next morning to eat them, fearing the curse. The next day, Daisy sang a beautiful song that put the tiger to sleep, and they were safe. This continued for days until Nelly grew bored and missed her friends. I wonder if the tiger has eaten Bella and Daisy by now. A wise monkey told Nelly about her friends, their bouts, and she decided to rescue them. I have to save my friends. Nelly snuck into the den one night and unlocked the door, freeing Bella and Daisy. Nelly, we missed you so much. Thank you for rescuing us. They ran away from the den, and the tiger woke up the next morning, realizing he had been fooled. Mm, those cows tricked me. I will never trust them again. Bella, Daisy, and Nelly reunited and hugged each other tightly. We're together again. They'll always stick together and help each other out. The tiger never bothered them again, and the three cows lived happily ever after in the lush green jungle. The moral of the story is that true friendship means always being there for each other, even in the face of danger. In the story, Bella and Daisy risked their own lives to save Nelly from the tiger, but Nelly in turn came up with a plan to save her friends when they were trapped in the tiger's den. The story shows how important it is to be selfless and put the needs of others before our own. It also emphasizes the importance of trust and loyalty in friendships, as the cow's strong bond helped them overcome the challenges they faced in the jungle.